It's Friday lunchtime in the centre of Leeds, but the city's waterfront is unusually quiet. Hart have been called in to back up emergency services dealing with a bizarre incident. We've got a male who's fishing in the river air in Leeds, centre of Leeds, with a magnet. He's managed to pull up an old Boer War shell, and it's full of ball bearings. What we need to do is get this ball bearing shell somewhere safe to detonate it. An army bomb disposal team have confirmed the 100-year-old mortar bomb is live and unstable. The men who found it are lucky to be alive. We got here for 9 o'clock this morning, and just after 11 o'clock, my mate Dave got quite a big catch and thought there's something big here, uh, and it turned out it's a Boer War mortar bomb. I rung my lad who was in the army at Carrick, and he says, get me a video of it. So I put it on video camera and showed him and he went, Dad, for police bomb squad. Dave's catch has sparked a major emergency operation. Police sergeant came first uh, and he took control at scene. He got photographs of me and Dave, he got some videos, and then we compared them with other ones that were online, and then he got logistics caught here. Setting the bomb off here among the plate glass office blocks could cause thousands of pounds worth of damage and risk casualties. The army have a plan. At the moment, EOD are trying to put the shell onto the back of a vehicle to transport it to a local park, which has been secured by the police, which is probably going to detonate the shell, hopefully, uh, with nobody in its radius. The bomb has been loaded onto the truck, and Andy and the team are about to join the slowest blue light convoy the city has ever seen. Hotel 11026, convoy is leaving Crown Point. Yeah, it's very safe to see. Um, police decided to clear this large grass area up at the top of Victoria Ave. So we're just up here at the moment, helping them with a bit of um, crowd control. Yeah, thanks very much. Just confirmed. Convoy is now moving over. The army have warned the slightest jolt could set off the bomb. A soldier is driving the truck, and police have tried to clear the route. I mean, all these cars are close to it, are they? did happen. It's a three-mile drive to the park where the bomb will finally do its work more than a hundred years after it was made. Police have evacuated the area. That sort of side device looking at 200 metre cordon, so roughly 200 metres from the device itself, from the lorry. Uh, it'll be covered in sandbags, I believe, before the, the detonation, just to add further p uh, protection and mitigation when the explosion occurs. The man who should be driving the van is happy not to be behind the wheel today. Day to day I work for council, I do bottles here in there, filling them up, making roads safe, and I do a standby afterwards. The standby can involve lots of different things, um, and this is one of them. Uh, where, there's a, where there's been something found in the river, it's caused a lot of grief and a lot, lot of disruption to city lights. They need me to c collect the vehicle, what they're borrowing at the moment, to deliver sandbags to the military, so, uh, so they can do their job, and I'll take it back. The bomb has now been gingerly lifted off the truck and surrounded with sandbags to absorb the blast. The army are placing a small explosive charge on it. Happy. Unusually, paramedic Tim is being allowed to press the button. Right, so that's that flashing red. One, fire. Hold one, hold yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. press fire. Thank you very much. There you go. Nice one. No worries. Mortar bombs were designed to kill and main troops on the battlefield. Thankfully, this one only damaged a few sandbags.